as this comes up over the next few weeks, this is this is what I'd say from Dave Big Picture Smith. Okay? This is what the big picture would advise in the spirit of the big picture. Number one, keep in mind this issue is more important than all the other issues. All of them. All of them. Iran, I will tell you this. Iran is no threat to us. Iran is absolutely no threat to the United States of America. Absolutely no threat to the United States of America. Absolutely no threat to the United States of America. You are talking about a country that does not have an air force, does not have a navy. They, they are absolute. There is no conceivable way in which they're a threat to the United States of America. We, we literally sit here and talk about if they were to develop a bomb that they don't have, maybe they could build an air force that would give it delivering capability to bring it over here. This is all nonsense. They've been five years away from having a bomb for my entire life. Do not listen to any of these neocons when they tell you that they're five years away from having a bomb. Do not listen to any of the bullshit where they say, oh, the, their track, their, the, the track they're on to having a bomb has, uh, you know, been expedi uh, expedited by this deal. Don't listen to any of that bullshit. Netanyahu was just, Netanyahu's been saying they're five years away my entire life. I'm not making that up. You can go look back. He's on record in the 90s. They're five years away, five years away. You know that little circular bomb Netanyahu has that's going up to the top? It's been at the same level since 92 okay uh iran has never attacked a sovereign nation Here, here's an interesting fact about iran in their history okay iran has chemical weapons iran fought a war with iraq in which iraq used chemical weapons on iran iran did not use the weapons back on iraq this is their one this is the track record they have in, in war we're supposed to make them out to be this big -hoo -hoo, evil guy. They're a lot more empowered because we overthrew Saddam Hussein, who was kind of like, they were kind of checking each other. Now they have a lot more influence in the region. But look, just keep this in mind with the whole, uh, de the whole Iran deal, right? This is the most important issue. And here's, here's Dave Big Picture Smith for you. The, the most important issue, the issue that trumps all other issues is war and peace. If you don't, if you don't agree with that, just ask anybody who's ever been to war in any capacity. If you're at war or anyone who's ever been near one, you know, they know whether you're at war or whether, whether you're in wartime or peacetime is a more important factor than pretty much anything else politically speaking. War and peace is the most important issue, not just of our time, but of all time. Of all times. And... The people who are sitting here nitpicking about the deal with Iran, these are the same people who have wanted war with Iran for decades. Decades. Make absolutely no mistake about it. Okay, in the same sense that uh, the people, and this has like been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt now, that all of the champions of the war in Iraq wanted the war in Iraq before 9-11, right? No, but there, there's really no arguing that. That, uh, so, like, uh, many of those forces, maybe I shouldn't say all of them, a large number of those forces wanted the war in Iraq, had lobbied and openly said they wanted the war in Iraq beforehand. They got their excuse and they went for it, okay? It's hard to actually put yourself in the mind state that it's like, oh, people actually want war. That like, people actually want war. They do. In the same sense that somebody was actually willing to mow all those people down in Las Vegas, some people actually want war. These people want war with Iran. They've wanted it for decades. So when you hear them coming out here saying like, oh, we're taking this step, which is just, uh, you know, uh, bowing out of this deal with Iran, just know that the people, what they want is not to get rid of the deal with Iran. They want war with Iran. And look, as I said, uh, like, like I said, Iran is no threat to us. No threat to us. They don't have an air force or a navy. They don't have enough oil. Uh, they don't have enough gasoline for their own people. They're no threat to us. But Iran, let's just say it's more, it's more Iraq than it is Afghanistan. It, maybe they're no threat to us in terms of them attacking us. A war with Iran might be the death of our country. We may not be able, we may not be able to handle it. I don't know. If, I don't think people realize how pushed we were. The hot war in Iraq uh, didn't slow down because people developed a conscience. A conscience. It 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 slowed down because people are on their fourth, fifth tour and they can't do anymore, and and we're burning through record high deficits that even we couldn't keep up.
uh, th- these things, we, we can't afford this right now. And you meddle around in these things and you could end up getting sucked into one. As we were saying before, these wars, these wars can get started off little things and then the, uh, uh, the propaganda machine takes over. So, libertarians, once again, it's on us to be the only voice of reason in the room. So while we're smacking down all this left-wing bullshit, which, don't get me wrong, needs to be slapped down, we got to insert this anti-war issue more and more in there. 